This is the third proof of our equations of linear motion. We're trying to figure out what the derivation of the v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as formula. The letters stand for uh, v is your final velocity, u is the initial or starting velocity, a is acceleration, and s is the displacement. The starting step in this proof is to begin with our first equation of motion, v is equal to u plus at. And our first thing that we have to do in this proof is to square both sides of that equation. So what we'll end up with is v squared on the left hand side of the equal sign. Now when we squared the uh, u plus at part of that equation, what we can do is use the fact that if we square uh, two parts of a bracket, like in this example, we can use the quality for maths that you square the first and square the second thing and then it's twice the product of them. So the way that we write that down, you square the first thing, so that will be u squared. You square the second thing, which is going to be a squared multiplied by t squared. And twice the product means that we have a product means to multiply the u by the at, and you have to double it. So it's going to be plus 2 times u at. We then are going to factorise the second part. And the reason why we do this, if we compare where we are at the moment with where we want to finish up with, we have a v squared on the left hand side, which we have in our equation. We have an equals and then a u squared part. So the only thing that we have to kind of manipulate somewhat is the 2 uat plus a squared t squared part. What we're going to do is factorise out uh, the number 2 and we're going to factorise out the acceleration, which is the letter a. So on our next part, we'll still have v squared is equal to u squared. But now we're taking out the 2 and the a. So outside of a bracket, we have plus 2a. When we factorise that out of the 2uat part, there's no longer 2 there, but there is still the letter u, which is your starting velocity. There is still the letter t, but there is no a. Plus... Now, again, we use the quality that we have a kind of an invisible 1 in front of the a squared t squared. So we then say 2 divided into that 1 will end up giving us a half. a divided into a squared will leave us with a letter a. And then we have t squared. Almost done. If we go back and compare uh, with what we've got in our equation, we now have the 2a and we have 2a in our equation. The only remaining part of this is to realise that we are missing the letter s. But in essence we're not really because ut plus a half at squared from our second proof is just what your displacement is. So our final line on this is to say that the final speed squared, so v squared is equal to u squared plus 2a and everything inside of the of the uh, bracket is just the displacement which is just the letter s and that's the proof completed